Hey guys, so today I'm going to be cleaning, deep cleaning the bathroom. I just want to quickly share with you guys what I bought at the store today. So I bought a disinfectant. I also got a kind of like empty bottle. This was only a dollar and I just want to put in like maybe water or alcohol. So I also got like this little tote caddy. It's gonna hold like my microfiber cleaning mitts. Got these vinyl gloves to wear for cleaning because I don't want to touch the chemicals. This one is multi eraser cleaning pad. And I didn't hear about it until recently and I heard that it works like magic. So you just apply like water onto this and, and squeeze out the excess water and then you just gently rub the multi-eraser over the dirt. I bought this because, you know, one of my cabinet uh, little hinges is coming off. And I bought like these really cute sponges. They're colorful and they were super cheap. They were $1.50 for all four. This one is a fuzzy sponge, so it feels very funny. This is a little cute like dust pan. You might see me like brushing up the hair or any dust in here. This one is just a basic scrub and I will probably just try to scrub the bathtub with this one. It's another type of scrub, but this one is like more of a dish scrub, but I don't, I probably won't use it for a dish scrub. It's Okay, and that's it. That is my haul for the bathroom. So this is my small bathroom. I know it's pretty, um, it's not too bad, but there is definitely mold growing in my bathtub and I want to clean that off today. I think the first thing we're gonna do is clean up all the hairs that are on the floor. So I'm gonna set a timer real quick to one hour because I don't wanna spend too much time cleaning my bathroom since I have so many other things to do today. Um, so let's see if I can finish all of this in one hour. I just tried using the uh, brush with the pan and it's not working as effectively for the hair so let's not do that. So one of the places that's easily forgotten about is this area behind a toilet. So, so I just want to wipe off the dust as much as I can so that it's like a little bit cleaner. Maybe you can feel the pressure that I've been living on I can say that it's been on my mind But I'm moving along So make sure you get all like the nooks and cranny of the toilet So you just want to be thorough and be as clean as possible The toilet lid is very clean, so the inside, we're gonna clean the inside next. And for the inside, we're gonna try to use, put this guy in here in the toilet. It's like it's not as bad <laughs> as I've seen. Flush half cup of the product to sides of the bowls to kill gram negative bacteria, and you wanna to brush to wet all the surfaces thoroughly including under the rim and then let it stand for 10 minutes before flushing yeah. 
marks there left but I wouldn't worry too much about it I think it was there forever <laughs> our shower curtain is growing mold and it's not the outer curtain that I'm worried about it's the inner one so what I want to do is probably wash this washing machine and put vinegar in it hopefully that will do the trick I have a hair dryer like this it's pretty it's pretty effective I want to say and I like it a lot. It's getting old now, but I'm gonna have to clean it out. It's really disgusting. For the multi eraser cleaning pads, this one is kind of like equivalent to Mr. Clean Erasers. Basically, you just wet the multi eraser and then you squeeze out the excess water and then you rub the eraser over the grime. And so the grime should come right off. So it looks like a sponge, it's very basic. I honestly don't know what goes inside the sponge. Oh, it works really well. Oh my gosh, this is like magic. Wow, this works really well. Look, all the brown stains and the pink and the yellow are gone instantly. It's definitely a workout. Once you're moving, your arms will be up and down and side to side. But guys, I highly recommend this one because it is very convenient for you and you just need to wipe it off. So we got the toilet down, we got the bathtub, and I still need to put the curtain in the washing machine. We have about 18 minutes left. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna organize and clean up the sink area a little bit. And after that, I think we're pretty much done. Wow, look at the bathtub. It's way cleaner. There's actually no more room for gray white. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give this a like and subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys in the next video.